Hi guys, it's Paul and Thomas here. Hello. And here we are trialing the Nova OSD system. And basically the unique function of this one, it's um it's quite a cheap OSD system. I think it's about $140 or $50 thereabouts uh, US. And um, what it offers is also a return to home and a stabilization mode. Uh, so it's, it's similar to the RemZB, but other than the fact that it's actually got these two functions, which are great. Um, at the moment, you can see I've got the return to home enabled, and it's coming straight back home again. Uh, it seems to work quite well, doesn't it? Yeah, it worked really well. Uh, I think we were experiencing, experiencing probably around about 10 knot breeze thereabouts. So it was kind of breezy. It wasn't too bad. And look, it handled it without a, without a drama whatsoever, didn't it? Yeah. And um, one time it actually got hit by a bit of wind. And it was able to correct itself. Yes, exactly. It was actually, it was able to correct itself quite easily. Um, it flies really well. The, the, the turns are nice and smooth. It doesn't do anything erratic at all. Um, some people have reported it doing some strange things. Uh, but I have a feeling that could be to do with the calibration and the way they've actually gone about calibrating it. Yes, because um, when we were testing it at home to see if it works... It was set to Alavons and it was doing really strange stuff. Yes, it was. And uh, basically, once we corrected that and did the calibration, it just worked fine. So there was no issues at all. Um, I think it tells you one point to hold up elevator and right rudder, or sorry, right ailerons, and um, look at no drums at all. If you have a look here, I've walked back to the base station. It's 125 metres it was set at. Um, so basically, the GPS drifted. I'm not sure exactly why it would do that. I know we get the same problem with the... Remzibi OSD. So if anyone knows how to resolve that issue, I've got no idea. But look, it drifted by about 100 plus meters, which is quite a reasonable amount. Um, we reset it a couple of times after that. It didn't drift anywhere near as much, but it did actually still drift a little bit. So um, I'm not sure whether that's going to be an ongoing issue or not. But look, it seemed to work well. Return to home is enabled there. And um, turning into the sun, the camera I've got there is a cheapy camera. Um, and it's I've switched the return to home off again mm. and I think I'm flying back out again yeah so um and the other cool thing is it's got the uh, PA mode which is a stabilization mode and it works really well with that doesn't it yeah it basically keeps the planet at the right altitude yeah no dramas at all um, here it is enabled again coming back home again from about 300 meters away um, we went out to I think about 400 and something meters at one stage um, we couldn't fly much further out than that because we were pretty much over houses at that stage and didn't want to risk anything. I think this is the part where I'm going to fly it a little bit further. So we're at, what is it? Uh, I'm not sure whether this is it or not. We're at 200, 300 metres and going out. Uh, how far did we get this time? I'm not sure exactly how far we went out. Yeah, this mm. could be it. We've gone out well past 400 mark. I've enabled the return to home and it's turning back around. And no dramas at all, navigating straight back to us. Um, at this distance here, actually, we lost sight of the aircraft, didn't we? Yeah. Because it was a very bright sunny day, and the Bixler being white, it virtually disappeared. So we were pretty much relying on the return to home to get it back again. Yes. I've got it in PA mode at the moment, so I'm actually flying it back. But the aircraft is doing all of the stabilisation. I'm just using aileron, and you've got to use a hell of a lot of aileron to actually make it turn. It's I've like half. Huh. Well, it just, it just flies perfectly straight, so it's really, really good with the PA mode enabled. It's actually a good way of actually flying, I think, without any stress. Well. Um, that was just a bit of a dropout in the tape, I think it was, Tom. Oh, okay. So, um, PA mode still enabled. Oh, great. Return to home again. Silver box. And here it yeah. goes. Circling overhead. Oh, it's coming back to us. Well, it's nice to know that it works. <clears throat> yeah, so what we'll do, well, later on we'll probably go out... Um, country somewhere or somewhere without any houses and do a decent range test and see how the whole system goes but um i'm going to do a quick video on the wiring up of the nova osd because um a few people have been having issues with it it's the, the instructions aren't all that good but all the information is actually there on the instruction sheet you just got to read it very very carefully and read it a few times but um as you can see return to home working fine again Mm. Um, I think I've gone out over houses there, which I probably went a bit too far that time. And it's come back in. Oh, this is interesting here. No, it's not this one. It's a little later on. Now, the way I've got the um, return to home set, all I've got it doing is uh, managing the elevator and the ailerons, and it requires me to enable either PA or return to home via the radio control. What I need to do is also program it in the actual fail safe. 
And what you want to do is program it in the fail safe with enough throttle so it can come back to you. And that'd be an, that'd be an ideal way of doing it because that way if you fly out too far away and you lose radio signal, well, fail safe will kick in. It'll enable the um, return to home and you should be right. Now over here, it's actually returning to home. I think I haven't realized because it's far out, I've actually cut the throttle and the aircraft's trying to turn. It's not responding very well. It goes into a bit of a dive here. Is this it? This might not be it. Oh. This might not be it. Could be. I'm not sure. It could be going so smooth because it's... <clears throat> but it did actually at one stage lose control, which was kind of freaky. I thought, I didn't know what was going on. But I did know it actually cut throttle. So I was expecting the model to actually put in corrections and try and gain altitude. But it couldn't do it at such low speeds. Exactly. There wasn't enough throttle. It must be about here. I'm going to do that. Um, I'm flying back out again. I've got PA mode enabled. And I'm just using, I think it's the rudder this time to steer it with it. And it's flying out okay. And I think I haven't realized at around some point around about here, I've actually cut the throttle back a bit. And it's dropping altitude. And I think the aircraft tries to correct itself. It's flying into the wind now. And it tries to pull up and it can't. And it's basically going to a bit of a dive here. And I've taken control. No, I haven't yet. About here, it's going to a dive. And I've panicked put throttle on again, switch off the return to home, started flying back home again. So what I did wrong there was I basically cut the throttle. Mm. Not a wise thing to do. We should probably put that into some kind of yeah. thingy. But anyway, look, mm -hmm. it, it worked well. So that's the quick rundown on the Nova OSD system. Um, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. See ya.